half dome. Got some afternoon clouds rolling in here. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. But where we're going today is behind that guy right there. On the other side, we're going off trail into the wilderness. Going on the other side of that to catch the sun setting exactly behind Half Dome. Saw a few trout in the river here, not very long. I'm exhausted and we haven't even started the uphill. And here's the nice little trail going through the woods. But that's not where we're going, of course. That would be too easy. We're going off the trail, into the woods, up a steep, steep hill. And, oh by the way, there's a storm coming. Good times. All right, let's climb this hill. Storm's rumbling a little bit more often now, but still kind of far. We're almost to our saddle, and then we're crossing the meadow. Well, we're getting chased into uh, hiding from the thunder that's getting closer. Heard a saw strike and heard the boom about six or ten seconds later, so it's between one and two miles away. We are gonna wait it out and see what happens. Beautiful view from up here though. Amazing. That's what's heading in our direction. Dumping some rain over there. Thunder stopped for a minute, so we got up and got ready to start going again. Rained on us a little bit. Not too bad. Just took a little nap here in the little area here. We are climbing up and out of the forest onto this old dome here. Really cool looking. Lightning seems to have subsided, but there is another storm back here. The other storm could come up on us. Now we're in the thick of it. Gotta go through this. Our destination is on flat ground, but it's across this thick wood. It's supposed to be a meadow somewhere over here, but all we see is down logs to step over.
crazy. These trees just die and fall over. I don't know if it's bark beetle or what, but look at that thing just broke in half and fell over. Crazy. Ooh, open space. Haven't seen that in a while. Oh, there are mosquitoes everywhere. Glad I put this thing on. Look at that, we found some bear poop. It's a big old pile. Kind of fresh, maybe a few days. We're almost here, we got about one mile left, just under a mile, and we'll be to our viewpoint. Currently an open forest, but that could change real quick, so hopefully it doesn't. It's a lot of pine cones. And we're back in the thick of it. Hey Ben Horn, look what we have here. Here we are, almost to the viewpoint. There's Half Dome, the back side of Half Dome. Well, good morning, everybody. It's day two. You might be wondering, what happened? Did you take any photos last night? Did you even get to your destination that you were trying to get to before sunset? The answer to those questions is yes, but we arrived just before sunset and completely exhausted. I was on the verge of vomiting from just exertion. Matt and David, could you just stand up and walk around really quick so you show up in my video? No, I don't feel very good. <laughs> and uh, we had cameras to set up, so I didn't film anything, any behind the scenes. I just threw my backpack down, got all the tripods out, set up all the cameras and started clicking. And uh, I think it turned out. You'll find out in a second. I, I gotta go home and post-produce this stuff and see if it really did turn out, so maybe not. But uh, let me show you around here. We did make it to our spot. Doing some charging here. And there's Half Dome right there. So all night we were shooting down into Little Yosemite Valley here, which is, which is right down there. I'm not gonna go too close to the edge of this thing because I'm done going to the edges of cliffs and uh, all that. But I will show you a little bit of the S-curve here. It's just beautiful. All right, that's as close as I'm getting. View down into the valley is just amazing. And then Half Dome above it. The sun set right behind Half Dome. And uh, then the comet was also right over here. It was up in the night sky. And then the moon set over there. You know what? <laughs> Why don't I stop describing it to you? Why don't I just show you? what we got. Mm -hmm. 